Welcome back to another episode of MILF Manor Mondays over here on the channel. At the end of the last episode, we were teased with the fact that it kind of looked like this might be the finale. Everybody was all dressed up, and they have to decide if they want to continue this relationship outside of the villa. So I imagine we are in for quite a bit of drama today. But without further ado, what may be the finale of MILF Manor? Are we gonna play Truth or Dare? Your call, you're our guest. Nothing like a bit of truth or dare to start off the night. And as awkward as it can be, Kelly goes ahead and asks Paula's daughter what she thinks of Joey. Joey doesn't look the most thrilled about it, as I probably wouldn't either if my mom literally just met this person. And you just feel like butterflies? <laughs> it did happen. You know, I did think it was a little bold of Emma to say, Fuck off, dude. The fact that April can be pissed after everything that just happened in the last episode, she told her ex-husband she still loves him. Let him feel her up right in front of Joey. <laughs> Homie, the ship sailed. And Jose, which throws me off a little bit, has April kiss Joey right after he tells Joey last episode he doesn't need to put up with this bullshit. Me and April need to have a talk after what her ex did at lunch because the way that he picked her up made it look like they still had stuff going on. And good for Joey. Honestly, I think we're all on the train right now. We're hoping he just bends her off. Go with Paula's daughter, man, for the love of God. And when he took you away, I kind of felt like disrespected in a way. Billy has a sense of humor and people may not understand his personality until they get to know him. Maybe it's just a thing that every Billy that touches this show has a huge wiener. Last thing I'd want is for Joey to feel disrespected. Fuck off, man. I'm annoyed that she's not really siding with me because she knows the way she was acting was just wrong. I'm not Dr. Phil gonna sit here and teach people about relationships, but whenever somebody says, hey, I'd really love for you to get to know my ex, just get the hell out of there. So basically the next part of the show, because nothing too crazy happens, happened was Emma goes up to Joey, they exchange phone numbers, instead of having to kiss goodbye, Joey blows her a kiss. <laughs> Hope that one doesn't bite him in the ass. And now let's get back to the house. And some of you have already spent your last night here. Wait, what? Wow. So they all just got a text message, said the guys have spent their last night in the villa, and they're gonna be going somewhere else right now to write a letter describing what their intentions are afterwards with these women. Whether they want to continue a relationship or call it quits here. And the women are gonna have to do the same thing, which I think is where we see that final ceremony. Both of them reveal their letters. Either gonna be happy as hell, or there's gonna be a lot of tears. I remember our first conversation. And for those of you guys that do not remember that conversation, here it is. It's a beautiful ring, by the way. Thank you. It kind of reminds me of your face. How do we know? <laughs> Pretty fucking hard one to forget. Can't imagine what he's gonna pull out here at the finale. I want to get married again, so, you know, I, I'm hoping that he could be ready for some commitment here. Extremely unexpected, Stephanie seems all in. Went for the entire season, it's made it feel like she hasn't been. But maybe that's just the Gabriel effect. I'm thinking about how she has a whole family already. My lifestyle, I travel a lot if I even have time for something so serious. And Gabriel is the one with cold feet. I was not expecting any of this at all. I want to put some early predictions in right now. Joey doesn't want to continue it. Part of me really thinks Gabriel might try to continue it, but then they'll break up a little bit later on. I think Jose is not going to continue it. And I think Paul is the one that won't continue it with Ryan. He lives in Boston. I live in Miami. So I don't know if this connection will stay as strong as it is right now. And that scares me because I don't know if there's gonna be a future or not. I promise I didn't watch any of that beforehand either. I'm standing true to my calls. And if they happen, I was way too fucking invested in this television show. It's very exciting to see that everyone's back here at the villa to support us in this very last moment. And this is officially it. Nine weeks of pure awkwardness comes down to this moment. And they brought back the rest of the cast, which is kind of cool. It's been a while since I felt like this about someone. Look at our fucking boy Gabriel, man. Oh my God. I will buy you a garden where your flowers can bloom. <laughs> Gabriel and Stephanie are the very first two people, which makes me think the producers obviously know. I don't know what to call our relationship once we leave the villa, but I want it to be as deep and loving as it is for me today. Gabriel's message ended with, thank you, Gabriel. I thank you so much for this. With love, 
Gabriel Jane. This is not looking too good for Stephanie, and she's starting to realize it as well. I feel like in the real world, Gabriel and Stephanie may not work because Gabriel is constantly traveling. And then why the fuck did he sign up for a dating show? Seems like the polar opposite people you'd want to have on here. Unless the evil ass producers were hoping some of these people would just not commit at the end. Seems really weird to come on the show and be like, uh, you know what? I got a lot of things going on outside of the show, so... Nah, I'm good. Of course, I'm excited for our future adventures and I can't wait to get back to LA and give you a little taste of my lifestyle. Okay. So that's the first couple done there. Once again, Gabriel seemed a little skeptical about the whole thing. He was never like, oh, I'd love to be in a relationship. I want you to be my girlfriend. I'll be honest, I think the guy was way too nice to say no right then, but maybe they do work out and I hope they do. Up next, we have Joey and April. To sum things up, April, I'm so glad I met you, and I would love to continue dating you outside of the building. Boo! Come on, man. Just go with Paula's daughter, dude. Uh, it's a little bit upsetting. And by a little bit, a lot of bit upsetting. As a 20-year-old man, I'm sure this will appeal to you. You are free, Joey. For example, you would like to see where things go with Emma. You have my blessing. Joey just went down so bad. Brother, you could have been the one to say no. But if I was 60, dating a 20-year-old person, I feel like I'd be taking a whole lot of life from them. April said that earlier. So I guess she isn't as bad of a person as that one date portrayed. So good on you, April. Like the business that I have with you, I invite you to continue creating with me one baby step at a time. Ryan just said a lot of things that makes it feel like they know they're gonna be together. He said that he was a protector. He even threatened to sing again, so I'm glad he did not. It would have been fucking funny if he did though. But let's see what Paula says. I believe there is room for more chapters to be written by coming to Miami real soon. Hey, <laughs> I will come to Miami! <laughs> the best part about this though is it cuts to Ryan's mom and she literally sounds like Ben Stein. And she's like, I am so happy for Ryan. I am ecstatic for Ryan. I am so happy that she followed her heart. Show some damn emotion. I remember you saying you take things very slow. So I decided to back off and I waited patiently. I feel like waited patiently is a little bit of a stretch. Considering the fact that she was trying to grab Big Wiener Billy's wiener right in front of his mom. If that's what waiting patient is, fair enough. It's a fucking stretch though. Once again, due to copyright, I don't know how much I'm allowed to show you guys of what she said, but basically just super, super nice things. She wants to empower Jose. She wants to be with Jose. She knows there's distance, but she's willing to try. And now it's time for Jose. Is he gonna end this season on a high or is it gonna be a burning fucking building? I am hopeful we will have new ones to look forward to together. Yours truly, Jose. Three out of the four couples are together. And after reading all the comments on these videos, I got a feeling a lot of us are a little bit happy at the fact that Joey and April are not one of those couples. To our mothers. And to the sons. Our babies. Hello. To the villa! To the villa! And just like that, the season does come to a close. A lot of the sons and mothers said how they got a lot closer to each other throughout all of this. They wrapped it up in a heartwarming way, to be fair to them, even though the show was unbelievably weird. But it brings us to the end of this series as well, too. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Once again, I'm brand new to this type of content, but I had so much fun doing it. If you guys have any other suggestions for series, please comment them down below. If you guys want to subscribe for future videos, we'd appreciate that a ton, too. Go give your mom a hug and tell her you love her. We'll see you guys later.